Hey guys, I thought I'd record a bit of a mental health update for you guys, for those that are interested. Um, so, you all already know that I've been in um, addiction recovery for about almost two years, coming up next, uh, is it next month already? Yeah, it's September. Okay. All right. October, coming up. One year, two year anniversary. Woohoo! But, um... Now, um, you know I've been in recovery, but what you might not know, because I don't share it as much, because honestly, for the longest time, I thought I was okay without having to need, ha having any need for any help with it, was I have some, I have some psychological issues, too, that needed addressed and are being addressed now, but, um, one of them is... I have generalized anxiety disorder, and two, I have, um, I still have some, no, okay, let me rephrase, we've been learning this in, in group, don't claim it, just name it, okay, so I struggle with the effects of generalized anxiety and PTSD, I don't have them, I struggle with the effects of them. That, that, that's better. Anyway, <laughs> we're learning <laughs> we're learning how to change our mindsets, and I'm still learning that about myself, you know, one day at a time. But one of the things that I recently had to do was I had to get back on an anti-anxiety medication. It's the lowest possible dose that I can take. And honestly, that's so much better than what I was doing years ago. Years ago it was a pretty it was a pretty high strength pill that I was taking every day. And now it's a pretty low dose pill as needed rather than you need to take it every day or else. It's as needed. If you feel like you need it, go ahead and take it. You know, so that's how it is. Sorry, my room's a bit warm, so that's why I'm sweating. I'm not stressed. <laughs> but you know, I, I just it's important to know that even as Christians, we can still struggle with things that the world has left a mark on us from, you know. There are still going to be things that we're going to have to struggle with and deal with and um, eventually be able to overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony as I love hearing all the time from group. But even then, we've still got a, a, a response that needs to, be, needs to be taken into account. You know, we are only the product of our environment to, to a degree because we are who we are. That's an unfortunate reality. But seeking help for a mental health issue is not bad. It's not awful. You're not a failure. You're not worthless. You're not anything. It's just for a moment you're needing help. I go and see a therapist every week because talking through my issues and having an outside perspective to help me see, oh, here's how you could have done better with that situation is helping me in a way Confront and also um, just grow past some of these issues that I've had for the majority of my life. The same with somebody that had an issue with addiction will go to a recovery group to be able to find a way past it and be able to grow into a, into a um, sense of confidence in being able to be sober, you know, we seek help for things that we, we can't deal with ourselves. The person we should seek help from, first of all, is Jesus Christ, of course, our Lord and Savior, who does exceedingly more than we can ask or imagine, you know, but at the same time, we have brothers and sisters, we have family members, we have co-workers, we have trusted friends that we can go to and say, I'm struggling. Can you help me? Can you can you remind me when I look like I'm struggling? Can you remind me to 
take a breath. Can you, can you ask me if I remembered to take my pills? Can you ask me if I remembered to write in my journal today? Or, you know, little reminders, you know. Or even, do you have time to listen while I try and process this and just talk with you about it? You know, there, there is value in seeking a support system for whatever it is that you're struggling with at this moment in time. Because one day, it won't be a struggle anymore. You'll overcome it. But for now, while you struggle, you have people who care. You have people that want to help. You have people that will help if you ask. That's the wonderful thing about life recovery, as, as I've discovered, is that in life recovery, we have so many people out there, so many people in that room that are so willing to say, hey, I got you. If you need prayer, I'm here for you. If you need someone to talk to, I'm here for you. If you need to call uh, and t have me talk you down at, um, you know, 2 a.m. in the morning, I'm here, I'm there for you, you know. Let me, let me know what I can do to help because I want you to succeed. I want you to grow and I want you to find that freedom from whatever it is that you used to struggle with and that now you're getting freedom and, and, and victory over. You know, that's the thing. We don't fight. This is wonderful. I loved this. We don't fight for victory. We fight from a position of victory. We fight from victory because God has already given us the victory through his son. And now that we can see that that's what we have, that we have that victory, that we have that strong position in Christ, then we can go from that to, oh, well now, now, I can fight from that position and I can win because I'm already a victor in Christ. Now I can be a victor in this situation. Now I can have victory over my anxiety, over my depression, over my addiction, over my stress, over my job, over my family, over my relationships, over my friendships, over everything in my life. Because with God, all things are possible. With God, we have the ability to say, I am more than a conqueror because I have Christ Jesus in me who gives me strength for every moment who gives me empowerment for every season, who gives me wisdom for every every question, who gives me hope, even in the most hopeless of situations, even in the darkest of valleys in life, I have hope through him. And having that truth right in here, but also in your heart, helps a lot. It does. I'm not saying it's easy. <laughs> Two years in, I'm still learning things that I should have known by day one, but I didn't. Um, or I wish I'd have known it day one, but I didn't. You know, two years in, I'm still learning how to how to live life all over again. Learning how to interact with people again. Um, we recently got a uh, an associate pastor. And I've been chatting with him. Chatting with her, but um, I... I I came to the realization today I should probably back off just a little bit before I start to annoy her. Because I get so, sometimes I get so enthusiastic about talking to somebody new that I won't, I will annoy them to the point of driving them away. Because I'm just that, I'm that overpowering at times. I'm that, um, much. <laughs> So learning how to be better, learning how to be more well adjusted, and learning how to how to still be myself, but learn to manage how I express me in a better way. Not pretending, not hiding parts of myself, but rather managing my expression of self in a way that doesn't take away from how I can connect with other people. Because that's another thing. We have a unique gift now that in recovery, in the newness of life that we have in Jesus Christ, we can learn all over again who we are. And from then, we can learn who he is. <laughs> that's the wonderful thing. 
And so I would love to continue the conversation with you guys. Um, you have my Mastodon, Facebook, Instagram, threads, TikTok accounts all linked down below. Um, if you want to support the channel with a donation or by buying a t-shirt or something, I will have my spring and um, the other, not Patreon, but the other links down below as well. Have a nice day. God bless you guys. Have a good one and take care of yourselves. It's been a blessing to be here. Take care. Have a good one.